Hey guys, my name is Stan and in this video, I wanna talk about my experience with Samsung 980 Pro's M.2 SSDs in RAID 0 in my brand new build that I recently finished. If you follow the channel or you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I've been working on this uh, mini ITX build and it's got two two terabyte 980 Pro's that I rated in RAID 0. I'm gonna be showing you guys the speeds I can achieve and my thoughts around whether or not you should use RAID 0 on the X570 platform. All right, a little bit more about this system. This is a, a mini ITX build with a Crosshair 8 impact, um, and it's got a 5960X, 3090 FE a GPU with, uh, as I said, two 980 Pros, two terabytes on this little daughter board right here. And I've installed, and, and this is the only drive, the two drives I got on the system, and I've got Windows booted on this system. So in a previous video, I've showed you guys how to install Windows on uh, RAID 0 SIP platforms on ASUS motherboard. So if you wanna check that video out after this one, I'll make sure to link it in the description below. So this video is gonna skip all that. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is bring you a little closer and run Crystal Disk Mark and compare some of the numbers. All right, so first up what I've got here is uh, my computer open and C drive. As you can see here, this is sitting at 3.63 terabytes. So two, two terabytes in RAID 0 formatted is right around 3.63 terabytes. So it's seeing it as a continuous volume. So that's good. Uh, second, this is a review of the 980 Pro by Legit Reviews. This is a two terabyte model. So we'll use this, at, we'll use this as a baseline for the single drive. And in my test, it's gonna be the RAID 0. Uh, the test that they're doing is the peak test uh, with the mixed performance. So the 70% read, 30% write, which is the same, and we'll, we'll, we'll let this run and we'll check back after it's done. Uh, what you're seeing right here, this is the sequential read, right? You can see 12 gigabytes per second, 6.7, so the read is doubled. Um, the random 4Ks, you'll, what you'll see is the random 4Ks, because they're, you're dealing with such small pieces of files that you're not gonna be striping across the RAID 0, but what you'll see is you know, 2,000, 2,000, 400,000, or almost 500,000, 500,000, um, and then the random, so like the numbers when you're dealing with 4K is very similar. There isn't a major degradation in performance. On my TRX40 uh, Threadripper system, for some reason, the random 4Ks uh, you had a regression in IOPS and the performance here is actually pretty good. You're maintaining the high IOPS on the read. Now, if you're talking about write, you can see 9.8 gigabytes per second write, five gigabytes. So you're almost nearly doubling again on write speeds. Right, random 4K writing is a little bit faster, 1.5 gigs, about 900 megs. And then the random 4K for IOPS, 380,000 versus 200, uh, is that right? 200, 230,000. So random IOPS write is actually faster than in RAID 0. Uh, so basically, and then, and then the mixed performance is really, really similar, similarly different as well. When you're talking about sequential, you're nearly double. And then when you talk about the randomness, you're basically on par. So what I'm saying is the RAID 0 performance is either double or at least matching that of a single drive. So that is very good. There isn't any performance degradation or major performance degradation by going from one drive to two drives in RAID 0. On X570, especially this impact Crosshair impact board. Uh, the, there isn't any major bottlenecks for RAID 0 and the performance seems to be there. All right, uh, this profile right here, this is the real world profile. And again, if you wanna change the profile, you go under here and use the preset. And looking at the this profile here, you can see that under the real world preset, the trends are 
relatively similar. Uh, the sequentials, you're still crushing the sequentials and the random 4Ks is relatively on par. Writing, writing, writing seems to be a little bit better um, on the IOPS you get from having the two drive, being able to write from the two drives. Reading, you only seem to be only reading from one, which is kind of interesting, but uh, so even the random 4K on writing, 350 megabytes, 192. Uh, again, nearly doubling of performance. Overall, it seems like whatever tests you're throwing at it, again, you're either matching performance of a single drive because you are only either reading off of a single drive or you're doubling the performance. That's when both drives are in play. All right, so as you can see, performance on RAID 0 on X570, it seems to be there, uh, especially when you have plenty of PCIe bandwidth on X570. And there really isn't any downsides to going to RAID 0. Uh, clearly, you're gonna have double the failure rate, potential failure rate, because you're on RAID 0. But then again, you know, M.2 SSDs, when was the last time you've ever heard about a M.2 SSD failing? It's not like it's mechanical hard drives anymore. Uh, SSDs are really good, so uh, still back up your data if, if, if you have something important. But for me personally, M.2 SSDs and RAID 0, I don't have a major concern about um, systems failing. The only real issue is if you go into the BIOS and accidentally delete something or delete, reinitialize the RAID array and you lose your array. I've done that in the past, even on camera, but uh, that, that's the only real way, in my opinion, when you actually lose RAID 0 data. So uh, it, it, just make sure to watch what you click and be careful because uh, mistakes do happen. One last thing to note is that uh, because RAID 0, you don't seem to have trim support. And in fact, I, I don't think RAID 0 trim support really exists. You're really relying on the drive's own garbage collection, garbage management systems. So you're not really dealing with the Windows uh, trim support. So. I can't say what the performance longevity is down the, you know, a year or later after a lot of write, read, write cycles. Uh, from what I've seen, at least um, on RAID 0 and in all these tests, the performance seems to be relatively consistent. Um, but like I said, we'll have to maybe check back in six months from now to see if there is any major performance differences. So if you're on the fence about RAID 0 or not to RAID 0, uh, just make sure that your system has the PCIe bandwidth, that you're not going, the bandwidth isn't going all through the PCH or the chipset. Uh, you know, you're gonna be on Intel systems, you may be limited by the DMI um, or or just, just to make sure that you don't have any other bottlenecks elsewhere where you might not get the RAID 0 performance. Anyway, hopefully this video was useful for you guys. If you did, it was, make sure to hit that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, perhaps consider subscribing. As always, my name is Stan and I'll see you guys in the next one.